in this video we are going to learn the concept of linearity a system is said to be linear when it follows the principle of superposition if a system obeys the principle of superposition then such a system is said to be linear now, let us try to understand these two concepts, linearity and superposition, with the help of a block diagram. Say, for example, we have got set of inputs x1 of t, x2 of t, till xn of t. Now, we will scale this input by a factor b1 and this input by a factor b2 and this input by a factor bn. Now, whatever intermediate output we get after this stage, we are going to add all these things. Now, we are going to get some output and that signal is fed to a system. And that system has a response called H. And after this, we are going to get an output signal Y of T. These are weighted inputs. This is the system and this is the output. For time being, say this as output 1. Now, let us try to write one more block diagram. And that also has set of inputs, same inputs, x1 of t, x2 of t, till xn of t. Now, we are going to feed this input to a system that has a response h. Same with this, and same with this. After this, whatever intermediate outputs we are going to get, we will scale that signal by factor, same factors as before, b1, b2, and this by bn. Now, we are going to get some signal after this, and we are going to add all those signals. After this, we'll get output y of t. These are inputs this is the sys these are the systems of response h these are the weighting factors call it as wf and this is the output and now call this as output 2 a system is said to be linear when output 1 is equal to output 2 let us write the same thing in words a system is said to be linear when the response h of such a system to weighted sum of inputs these are weighted sum of inputs till vn xn of t if this is equal to same weighted sum of outputs b n y n of t if this equation is equal to this equation then such a system is said to be linear one let us write some more equation some more equations i said the input is weighted sums if x of t is our input which is weighted sums uh, and that can be written as weighted sums. Say i varies from 1 to n. This is weighted sum. And the response y of t to such a system is h of x of t. And we know that this x of t is weighted sum. And this can be rewritten as y of t equal to h of summation i equal to 1 to n bi xi of t. 
Now we have got this equation and this equation is with the respect to this block diagram. Now write equations for the second block diagram. I'll write the equation for y of t. y of t, this y of t is equal to weighted sum weighted sum of outputs and i varies from 1 to n weighted sum of outputs now let us try to understand what is this y i of t y i of t is equal to system response of x i of t we'll get y i of t when we feed a system with input xi of t. And now let us rewrite this equation by substituting value for yi of t. And we are going to get y, I, y of t is equal to summation i equal to 1 to n bi h of xi of t. This is nothing but y i of t. We say a system is linear when this equation is equal to this equation. Then such a system is said to be a linear system. Let us define let us define it again. A system is said to be linear when the response to weighted sum of inputs. These are the weighted sum of inputs. When a response to weighted sum of inputs is equal to same weighted sum of outputs. Same weighted sum of outputs so that each output is being associated with the corresponding input. Then such a system is said to be a linear system.